Hey guys, Michael here. I have Canada Goose's Chili Whack Bomber. Now, this jacket was created as a tribute to Canada's bush pilots who wear them at high altitudes to keep them warm. Uh, this jacket was also featured in a 2013 edition of Sports Illustrated by Kate Upton. Um, and this particular model is the current edition one. So, uh, the reason why this is so popular is because of its fashion um, as well as its warmth. So, this model jacket is a TEI 3. Uh, which keeps you warm from 15 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is probably um, going to be the average temperature in most of the populated areas uh, that people are living in. Um, it ends at your waist, so it's not going to provide warmth towards your lower leg or thigh area. Um, the exterior is 100% nylon. It's a very incredibly thick material, probably the thickest I've seen of any jacket. Um, and it's coated in a DWR repellent, so it's a it's water repellent, but it will wear off if you dry or wash your jacket. But it can be reapplied later on if you want to. Um, and since it is nylon, it's so thick, it's wind resistant. However, it's not windproof. Um, but in my personal experience, I've never felt any kind of wind seep in. Okay, so a couple other things about this jacket. Um, pockets here. Uh, these are about below the chest area. They're good for just walking around in. Um, and then they also have these two down here, which close with Velcro straps, and they're fleece lined on both sides, which is a nice feature because a lot of jackets don't actually have that. Usually it's just one side or not at all. Uh, these up here are also fleece lined on both sides. And on the left side, comes with a another little media pocket there. Uh, to keep your phones, whatever you want to. And then, uh, surprisingly, on the sort of shoulder, bicep area, there's a pocket. You could probably fit like an iPhone uh, 5S in there. Something like that. Maybe an ID um, or a small wallet. Uh, now the warmth of this jacket, I was wearing this in negative five degrees Fahrenheit, waiting for a place to open. For about an hour and I just had my hands in these pockets here without any gloves on. I was completely warm. Uh, so it's an incredibly warm jacket. I was very surprised. Um, now the reason for that though is because the hem here and the cuff are ribbed and you know closed. They're elastic so they fit to whatever size waist or hem that you have. Um, and also the fill here is a 625 duck down. Uh, which is a pretty good number. It's a little bit better than North Face's 550. However, it does lack um, compared to other brands. However, there's a lot of the material in here. So it's, it's a pretty good filling. Um, now the zipper here is a YKK Vison zipper. Uh, it's two ways, like that. Uh, so you can have you know, the end open, this end open if you want to. Um, and the zipper is covered up with this storm flap uh, that can be buttoned, you know, that you, you can close to keep out any of the wind from seeping in. Um, now the hood here uh, is trimmed with the uh, coyote fur. Uh, Canada Goose says that they get this coyote fur from responsibly sourced ways as well as the duck down uh, from licensed trappers. Um, you know, there's definitely an ethical debate about real fur. Um, they claim that they, the traps that they use um, are designed not to hurt their legs. You know, they don't have teeth. They're just a pressure clamp with rubbers uh, around the teeth or around the jaws of it, sorry. You know, just to keep anything from, any skin from being penetrated or any infections to happen. Um, so the hood of the jacket uh, it comes over your head like this, and it can be zipped shut all the way to create sort of a snorkel effect. So, I'll show you that. Okay. Now, uh, if you don't want to wear the hood and you want to keep your um, ears warm, the fur 
comes in like this, and you can zip it up, so it'll act as like a fur earmuff kind of thing. Um, and that works really well, it's really good as well. Now the hood has an adjustable strap so you, that you can make it smaller or tighter. Um, and then the interior of the jacket is ripped uh, to keep the down from settling. Um, so to prevent hot spots and also prevent cold spots, you know, just have an equal uh, sort of mix. Now this jacket they don't recommend because of the coyote fur and the just large amount of down in it that you don't wash it in the washer. They recommend that you dry clean. Uh, however, I have seen stories of people washing it in the washer. Uh, they use it on the coldest, gentlest cycle. And they also use a down specific detergent. So they actually make detergent specifically for down jackets. And then when they put it in the dryer, it usually takes about eight hours to dry. Um, and they use tennis balls to keep the down from clumping up. Um, so here's the back of the jacket. And the side, it has this little Canada goose patch that everyone's aware of. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about this jacket, uh, feel free to message me. I'll respond to pretty much all of my comments. And uh, just for reference, this is a size medium jacket. It is, it fits smaller than other jackets. Um, this is per pretty good size for me. I wear size medium to large-ish. Uh, so, for the bombers, I would order true to size. However, if, if you are going to get a Canada Goose parka, I would order a size down because those are suited for people who would like to layer their clothes. This one, you won't need to layer it unless you have um, below negative 5 degree temperatures, something like that. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching this review. See you later.